It's part four of Shipping TV's unique North Sea Roro series, and we're aboard DFDS Zealandia Seaways for our return trip across the North Sea to Felixstowe. We've already seen Jutlandia Seaways come alongside, and Captain Stevenson and his crew are ready to go. Yeah, well, but right now, we, all we can do is wait yep. for the engines and for the cargo operation to finish. But it doesn't take long. The ramps are up, the lines are aboard, the bow thruster is working, and we're on the next leg of Selandia Seaway's never-ending journey between Rotterdam and Felixstowe, Felixstowe and Rotterdam. Both the captain and the first officer are working on the bridge wing as we sail, controlling the ship via the bridge wing console. We'll be bringing you a detailed look at this in a special one-off clip soon when we'll be given a guided tour by First Officer Tony Schmidt. The DFDS Rotterdam terminal is in the Vulcanhaven Basin in Vladingen. This was originally built to accommodate vessels up to around 150 metres long overall, so DFDS's 200 metre ships are a tight fit. The terminal shares the basin with a dry cargo terminal on the other side, complete with specialised cranes, which are apparently national monuments. Today's outbound manoeuvre is much more straightforward than yesterday's entry, but it's still a demanding job. At least we're joining the traffic flow on the right side of the river without having to cross over. The ebb tide will also help us on our way out of Rotterdam today. But for the second time in two days, we're moving at a time when traffic is quite light, so we don't have too much to see. Unlike many UK ports, where the flurries of activity tend to happen around tide times, there's a constant flow of traffic of some sort on the river. Inland waterways barges carry cargo from here up to Switzerland via the Rhine, and Germany, Holland, Belgium and France are linked by canals and canalised rivers, with considerable traffic on some routes. But you never know on this river. Stay unfocused for two minutes, then suddenly something can happen. It's quite insane and normal. Coming upstream towards us, we can now see the UASC container ship Diera, about twice our gross tonnage and around 80 metres longer than us. 
with a draft around four metres deeper than Selandia Seaways, she'll keep near to the centre of the waterway. What are your converging speeds like, Captain? You were doing about, what, 10 knots or 12? No, when we were uh, taking him, we were doing 13 and a half right. through the water, and mm. we have the current with us. So it's around, right now we're doing 15 knots. And this guy? We are reducing speed a little bit mm -hmm. to uh, not to make suction right. with this passing vessel. What's he doing, do you think? I think he's normally there doing around 10 knots, right. these big ones. They're creating a lot of swell behind them. Yeah. And you have a lot of people on the, on the river sides here, mm -hmm. on the river beds. And you need to take care. Diara is one of United Arab Shipping Company's older and smaller ships, built in 1998 and with a capacity of just 4,100 TEU. But UASC are building hard for the future, with six 18,800 TEU and 11 15,000 TEU container ships presently on order. Right at the entrance of the new waterway is Stanelines Hook van Holland Terminal. The name actually means Corner of Holland. Both ramps are occupied. The Stena Transit trades freight only to Killingholm, Lincolnshire, and Stena Hollandica operates row packs to Harwich. Then it's Anglia Seaways, who we saw outbound around here yesterday while we were aboard Suecia Seaways. Fancy seeing you here. Over to port we can see the expanses of Europort and Rotterdam's major container and big ship terminals, where the world's biggest ships come and go every day and one of the most E class is just heading out. But although the big ships get all the publicity, dozens of smaller vessels come and go every day. In 2014, there were 29,000 calls at the port of Rotterdam by seagoing vessels. More or less, two hours, mm. every day. Yeah, today it was not that busy. No. Uh, can be. It can be. Also coming out here, and this is called the precautionary area of Rotterdam. Right. can be a lot of traffic and pilots just getting on and off. Right. And then you have a, a crossing section for the small uh, pleasure right. craft and sailing yards and mm -hmm. everything. So it can also be quite intense here. They are, they are being regulated, yeah. but sometimes some of them are doing strange things, so to say. So we always have to keep a sharp lookout for these guys. So we're at sea again, with around four to five hours ahead of us before we reach the entrance channel in towards Felixstowe. So there's time for the crew to be getting on with the never-ending cleaning, painting and other deck work, which they started as soon as we sailed this morning. And coming up in part five, the final part of this series, we'll be coming into Felixstowe, where Selandia Seaways' carefully kept timetable will go a little adrift as she arrives when one of the world's biggest ships is about to depart. See you soon.